There are plenty of sophisticated and very sort of complex ways to attack or try to take advantage of modern encryption systems and modern cryptographic systems. But there's also just the standard and fairly simple way of just trying to bang your way, bang the door down, just break in, try everything you can. Uh, sometimes we refer to these as brute force attacks because they're not necessarily that sophisticated, um, but they can work sometimes. So let's. Uh, let me give you an example. Let's say I have a system that's protected by a password. So a brute force attack, a social engineering attack, you know, I might you know, try to guess somebody's password based on their date of birth or whatever. Uh, a brute force attack, I just start guessing passwords and I keep guessing and guessing and guessing and guessing until I find the password that, that fits. Um, and on some level, if you think about it, here's the problem with brute force attacks. Um, they're not necessarily that effective if people pick good passwords. But in certain cases, particularly against password-based systems, brute force attacks work pretty well. And the reason is they're not quite as dumb as I'm not giving them credit for. So if I was trying to break a password-based system, I could, here's one approach, which is that I could choose random passwords. And I could just write a little program that made random passwords out of random uh, numbers of characters, and I could just try those. But that's not really all that smart, right? Because the fact is, people don't choose random passwords. People choose passwords that are easy for people to remember. So instead of choosing random passwords, what I can do that's going to be far more effective is use some sort of table of common passwords. And I'm sure that these are out there. I'm sure they've been sort of collected and built up as people have built, broken into systems and stuff like that. So I can use this table of common passwords. And I can start guessing passwords that people are likely to use. So one very obvious password is password. Another very obvious password is password with a zero instead of an O, or with a capital P, or with an exclamation point at the end, or whatever. And by using my knowledge of the passwords that are out there, I may be much, much more successful in brute forcing or breaking into this type of system. So brute force attacks are not particularly sophisticated. They're not trying to exploit some extremely subtle vulnerability in a system. Instead, they're just trying to bang the door down. But frequently, brute force attacks are launched against parts of a system where there's a human element that can make them effective. So if I'm guessing passwords, it's very likely that I may be able to crack a password, particularly for unsophisticated users, because users don't tend to pick very good passwords. Another example of this, sometime when you're out just fooling around, uh, try to log into the web interface for a lot of routers. A lot of people never change those passwords and it's like admin, admin, or admin password or whatever. So, you know, there are systems out there that you can, uh, you might be able to break into this way. Um, in general, against well-designed cryptographic systems, brute force attacks don't work very well, particularly when you're trying to do things like decryption because a brute force attack will have to try so many possible choices before it actually gets the right answer that it'll take a long, 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 long time. So a well-designed crypto system is secure against brute force attacks simply because even a really fast computer or lots of really fast computers launching a brute force attack uh, will not be able to identify the answer uh, within a reasonable period of time. And you have to think about you know, how long do we really ca care about keeping things secure. So if you could take one of, uh, let's say you can take one of my emails and you can take a thousand computers and in 10 years you can decrypt that email, I'm okay with that. You know, I think 10 years from now that email probably won't be very important. So brute force attacks, simple, not sophisticated, can be effective when launched against parts of the system uh, where people don't necessarily make very good choices.